Yo, YouTube, today we're going to be reacting to the game show host that touches kids. So we basically, like, ADP was a YouTuber that touches kids, he a game show host. So we, we got to cancel him too. Or we just got free my dog, ADP, because nothing happened to Bull. So let, let's see what happened. This video is to report and criticize the 1980s game show Just Like Mom, which was broadcasted publicly and then rerun 30 years later. This video covers content that may be perceived as shocking and insensitive, but it is necessary to discuss for educational and documentary purposes. You look like a young lady who likes to give lots of hugs and kisses out, do you? You're both very pretty. I think you have green eyes. He's a gay pedophile. And he likes, no, he's a bisexual pedophile. <coughs> Are they? They're not blue. Now, don't tell me that. Look at me a little closer. They're green. Now, free EDP. Free Dan Schneider. You know, Dan Schneider's the one from Nickelodeon that fucked Zoe 101 and got her pregnant at 13. My dog EDP only fucked a 13 year old. Free R. Kelly. He only pissed on girls' chests. Free Bill Cosby. Um, free all of them because he, he just tricked them in and gave them a kiss on the mouth. At, at, at three, he, this kid probably, what? 13. So, EDP did nothing wrong. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Are your eyes green? Now, she's sick. If he kisses her, bro, this dickhead need, need, need to get a life death sentence. I ain't gonna lie to you. Boy, are they ever pretty. And the kid's ugly as fuck, too. Just to be honest, these kids is not even handsome or cute. Did many boys comment on your eyes? Hugs and kisses. I should have known a sweet looking gal like you would pick that one. You give out kisses though, don't you, Stephanie? No. Oh, you don't too? All right, wait, you like hugging and kissing? <laughs> no kisses? Can I have a little kiss, please? This the kid saying, please. He begging. A, a three year old. Why is the quality so bad? Hold up. That's in 1080p. What the fuck? But you can't even see the bitch face because this shit happened in 1946. But now, now that happened in 20, since my dog EDP got caught in 2020, now it's a problem. He he wasn't kissing this young. That bitch don't even have a vagina yet. It's still getting grown. You got me, boy. Now this bitch is nerd. Yo, the fact that people are clapping in the background is really crazy. All them people need to be sentenced to life in jail also. Boyfriends? Yeah, one. One boyfriend? What do you do to... When you're alone together, what do you do too? We have so much fun with six year olds. She's three, bro. She don't do nothing. You don't have to be afraid of us. Whoever made this video, you a bitch, cause you you're gonna be scared, bro. Like, can you, like, why do y'all make these videos so creepy? Like, look at this TV, bro. And it's like a little bit dark outside right now. Like, bro, come on, bro. My heart racing. I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight, bro. I'm gonna think this young gonna come in my room and kiss me on the lips. That horrifying footage was from the 1980s Canadian game show, Just Like Mom. The man hosting the show was named Fergie Olver. You are probably feeling shocked, confused, and appalled at the visible proof of pedophilia broadcasted on live TV. How were they able to do this? Why didn't anyone stop this? Did the host go to jail? Today, we are going to dive into the dark past of the worst game show This dickhead needs worse than jail. Made. He needs to get fucked. Scarborough, Ontario, a suburb of Toronto, Canada, was where CFTO TV Studios was located. The year is 1979. Paul Burford came up with a new idea for a game show that would shock the world, literally. He pitches the idea to his friend Stephen Young, who would be the host of season one. He loves it. In the 80s, kids game shows were not very popular in America. But Canada seemed to have a vested interest in this genre. The idea was almost exactly like the newlywed game, but with kids and their mothers. Three teams, each consisting of a child and their mother. The children are asked two questions while the moms are backstage. They give an answer. Fuck all this. Where's the kids gonna kiss that? That's all I'm trying to see. Then the mom comes on the stage and is asked the same. I'm not trying to see that in a freaky way. I'm just trying, like, so I can, you know, uh, react to it. Cause I, I don't want to see kids gonna kiss. If I wanted to see kids gonna kiss, I would just go... Kiss kids. But I'm same question. Each team gets points when their answers match. Then they have a bake off where the kids are given some ingredients to bake something in 60 seconds. The mothers get a taste test of each one and have to guess which one their child baked. If they fleshed seconds. out this part of the game show, it would actually be a fun idea. Maybe give the kids more ingredients, more time to explain what ingredients they're using and why. For example, this one mother knew it was her daughter's creation because it had a lot of cherries in it. Congratulations! And why, why did you take number three? 
because it would have had the most cherries in it. It had the most yeah. cherries in Whoever has the most points at the end gets... Damn, she talking to her daughter's pedophile. Like, he'd just be kissing your daughter, and you don't even care. You know, he he, he probably gonna pop her cherry, <laughs> and you don't even care. That's crazy. To spin That's the tough. prize wheel full of cheap sponsored items with hopes of winning a trip to Disneyland. Season 1 was hosted by Stephen Young and Catherine Swing. Stephen was a lot less creepy than Fergie, but still had some questionable tendencies. Catherine was elected as Miss Canada in 1978. She was an actress and TV personality. In the beginning of each episode, the kids would run up to the host as he demands a hug and kiss. He just bent her over! Hold up! Why not mute it? He demands a hug Bro, and watch, watch, watch. Go! Go! And my dog R. Kelly gotta be in jail and Bill Cosby. Just cause they poisoned some people and put them in the basement and pissed on them. He got the little kids bending over. And my dog EDP, he was drinking a cupcake. He was, he, he, you know, he had a tier three cupcake factory uh, membership. He got one free cupcake a week. And you, y'all think he was touching it. And he, and the, and the picture he sent of his cop to the 13 year old, it had a hoodie on it. Not like a hoodie that I'm wearing, like, you know, like the fat skin. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Piss. Don't bend him over. He just bent him over again. He's about three. And he slapped his ass. He's like, oh. Don't bend her over, too. However, for the remainder of the show, at least the ones I could find on the internet, he seems to give the children a little bit more space, isn't always trying to touch them, and just focuses on the game. Steven left the show after season one. Nobody knows why. Season two is when Canadians all over the country would be introduced to Fergie Over. Fergie was Catherine Swing's husband. They even had two children together. Over was from... Them kids had a bad childhood. They was getting... Hey, you wanna give daddy a kiss? I know I just got home from work. Bend over for me. I could never live in a childhood like this. I would, I would, I would, I would fuck myself. Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, Canada. He played minor league baseball in the semi-pro Western Baseball League. From there, he would transition into broadcasting. Once he landed a job at CFTO, he spent the remainder of his broadcasting career with the Toronto Blue Jays, where he was loved and respected. Famous for his catchphrase, how about those Blue Jays? Fergie's whole life revolved around baseball. That's where his expertise was. Sure, he did some commercials here and there, but his only other job was this random game show for children. When he took over for season two on Just Like Mom, things changed a lot. The children were no longer running up to the host in the beginning. Still, it was the host's job to greet the kids and make them feel comfortable. Despite his relaxed tone and higher pitched voice, literally none of the kids or their mothers ever looked comfortable. Where did you get that pretty blonde hair? From her mom and her dad? You're, are you like 50 and you don't know where she got hair from? Are you a goofball? I wonder you like kids so much. Maybe you need to maybe you need to uh, grow up a little bit, pal. Okay. You don't have to be afraid of us. The likely reason why the kids felt uncomfortable is because they were trapped. I'm glad you let me share this chair with you. This is comfortable up here. For the start of the game, the producers would take the mothers off the set, bring them backstage, and make sure they can't see or hear. Can't see their kid getting violently raped on stage. For what's going on. That way they can't hear their child's answers and cheat to win the game. This was the perfect trap. For Fergie and Catherine to take advantage of the children. Oh, Yo, it's like, bro, my heart, like, bro, like, y'all know that weird feeling y'all get when, like, something freaky's happening? Like, that's what, like, like I didn't even feel this towards EDP. My dog EDP should be free. Like, he should get his YouTube channel back and all. Like, this shit, this shit is crazy. The kids with this show. Kisses. I should have known a sweet looking gal like you would pick that one. Once the mothers were off stage, the hosts would get very close to the kids. Most of the time, Fergie would have his hand on the backs of these children, or in places we can't be sure of. The children most of the time are visibly uncomfortable. They don't look nervous because what's there to be nervous about, right? And I get it. It's TV. There's an audience. Their mothers aren't around. But if you look through most game shows involving children, the producers want the kids to be as comfortable. I told you, he got a thing about hair. He keeps touching that person's hair like blonde hair. The kid, hair grows out the scalp. Two humans make hair. You cannot make hair with that child. I mean, kids with that child. They did not hit puberty yet. Calm your little freak ass down and go some. At least 21. Like, at least. You're like 50. You're like 50. Comfortable as possible to get the best results. Where would Aaron say you'd wear a cummerbund? On my waist. On your waist. That way they aren't just staring into space and being quiet. Plus, the mothers didn't look at ease either. Aren't game shows supposed to be fun, full of energy, goofy, filled with laughs? The show constantly had dead air, 
no reactions from the audience, and a creepy vibe that you could feel through the screen. It's almost like these families knew what was going on, but realized it was too late. The funny part about the game was supposed to be how children are unpredictable and will come up with ridiculous answers to these questions, like this one. What animal at the zoo reminds you of your mother? A gorilla. A gorilla! However, as time went on, the questions got overly sexual and shockingly inappropriate. Mom has decided she wants to be a playboy bunny. What will dad say? They were obsessed with the idea of kissing and trying to get kids to talk about sexual things. What would mom have to do to get a great big sloppy kiss from you? Yeah. All right, well, you like hugging and kissing? Yeah, with who? Now I can remember being a child and adults say, oh, do you have a girlfriend? And you kind of giggle and shrug it off. But to be trapped and forced to give an answer, as well as them going deeper. You got any boyfriends? Yeah, one. One boyfriend? What do you do to, when you're alone together, what do you do to? Just They're three years old, bro. They don't do nothing, bro. They, they look at each other. They, 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 they talk. They probably play tag. What do you want her to say? Just talk. You just talk? Talk to a job. And that's all? You wouldn't tell me anyway, would you? No. No. Like, what was the goal of these questions? What did you want the kids to say? Tara, speaking of kissing, when do you think, and this might become an X-rated show soon, when do you think your first kiss will be from a boyfriend? At what age we will accept one year either way? Now we have to address this because there will be a ton of people that comment, it was a different time. Yes, it was a different time where less pedophiles were being exposed for their wrongdoings. There are very few things on here that can be excused for societal norms being different. Sure, you mentioned how pretty or handsome one of the children are. You know what? That could be harmless. But Fergie just took it too far every time. Are your eyes green? No, they're red. Like, are you stupid? Boy, are, are you making me mad? They're pretty. Wow. Did many boys comment on your eyes? No, the she's three. She don't even talk to boys. I guess. If your game show relies on sexual questions for kids, then it probably isn't good. I mean, we know this because the questions that weren't sexual were so bad. Okay. What do you think would be the best fertilizer mom could use on her plants? A spray gun. But absolutely no excuse can be made for kissing a stranger's child on the mouth, especially after they said no. At some point, things got really out of hand. A lot of people... What is your punk ass going to do if, if I kiss your kid? I mean, if he kisses you, not me, I wouldn't kiss you. If he kisses your kid, you're not gonna do nothing. Come your punk ass. We'll reference this clip where someone says, dirty old man. Well, I guess you can't win the show then. If I don't get a hug and a kiss. Yeah, you hear that? In response to his disgusting demands, the woman who said that was actually Catherine Swing, his wife and co-host. His own wife was calling him out on his horrific actions live on television. Even she had enough. She realized how much of a monster he was, yet it still continued. To no surprise, they got divorced shortly after the game show ended. See, even she knew. He, he was probably... Hi, man. The show ran from 1980 to 1985. 600 episodes. That is 1,800 children. 1,800 kids. How many years is that? One year, 30 years per kid. 1,800 times 30 is about 30 million. So he deserves 30 million consecutive light sentences. Plus all the kissing, grooming, learning how to... This dickhead being a scientist, learning how hair grows. He a dickhead. ...children featured on this series. A lot of people think very highly of it. In fact, a lot of the episodes posted on YouTube are from people who were featured on the show and remember it as a fun and positive experience. Almost all of them are males, which we can tell Fergie was not interested in. Fergie continued broadcasting yeah, with the Toronto Blue Jays that. until he retired in 1992. In 2004, he was nominated for the Ford Frick Award, presented by the National Baseball Hall of Fame. All the way up until 2017, he worked with the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame and remained a well-respected man among his peers. The show never received any backlash until around 2010 when somebody posted Fergie's crime compilation on YouTube. Throughout the past decade, it's been reacted to by PewDiePie and other reactors and has gone viral on Reddit. SNL even made a pretty hilarious spoof of the show. However, no legal ramifications for Fergie. Nobody has spoken out. None of these kids have come forward to talk about it. There really isn't much information online about Fergie Olver in general. The only thing I could find was actually someone defending his actions. I was kitchen manager on Just Like Mom. Somebody did a, cl a clever editing job on yeah, a YouTube awful. video that has basically destroyed the man's reputation. Yeah, it's awful. I mean, Fergie was nothing like that. He was 
friendly. He was warm. He's loving. Uh, no. Nah, he he definitely like told her like, speak on my name highly or you're dead. I got all this money. You will be dead in the next week. Cause bro, we just what color is your hair? Wait, what color are your eyes? Hey, yo, what color are your eyes? Wait, look, come here, come closer. Like, bro, calm, calm down, bro. You don't gotta eat the little girl face. Calm down. I mean, that is not what they made out of that. I, I was shocked. And believe me, I would have, you know, reported it. I mean, I think when I was working there, I was like 20, or, or early 20s. I, I, I saw nothing like that. Nothing like that. So basically, this woman, who was 20 at the time, worked on the production crew, and this was her opinion. So clearly, people who worked on the show did not think anything was wrong with this behavior. In fact, the show actually got syndicated on game TV from 2008 to 2010, where they would rerun all these old episodes. And in 2016, they created a sequel called Just Like Mom and Dad, where Catherine Swing was brought on as a creative consultant. Luckily, the 2017 version was not predatory and seemed to be a much better game overall. Kissing on game shows seemed to be a trend in the 80s. Family Feud's original host Richard Dawson was very comfortable leaning in for kisses, even if the woman's husbands were right there. Most of these were consensual. Oh, and oh! I would've wanted. I would've goddamn hosted that show. Look, punk ass husband. Look, look at your punk ass, or your punk ass, or your punk ass, or one of y'all punk ass. He, he kissed your wife, and you're not gonna do shit about it. Yup, get your head down. You're, yeah, he looked mad. This might be her husband. He looked confused. This is probably her granddad, and this is probably her stepfather. And at least the contestants were of age. In fact, some of these women were the ones making the advances. Dean Harvey was never into that. The only kiss he ever gave out was on a woman's hand. Not much defense can be made for Fergie. We all saw what happened. We can all agree that kissing a child on the mouth when they explicitly say no is predatory and illegal. As for now, nobody spoke out against this that was involved and probably never will. Plus, Fergie is a very, very old man now. You can't blame the victims for simply wanting to move on and forget. It's disgusting and mortifying, but I guess we can be glad it's over and have progressed enough as a society that this will Yo, likely- Yo, he really stole a kiss from a kid. Like, that kid was like four. The kid got it, chill. I right, make sure y'all like the video, comment, subscribe. Uh -huh. Hey, y'all, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Click the link in the description for uh, if y'all want to watch me live on Twitch every single day, 6 p.m. EST.